Good morning. We're here in Ruppel Rise, which is on the southern outskirts of Haywards Heath, and we're here to see number 47, which is just up this cul-de-sac on the right. But I just wanted to start outside, because um, this is a lovely development. This is almost, well, it's not quite finished, actually, but it's the uh, Fox Hill development built by Lyndon Holmes. And uh, the house in question, actually, the owners moved into this in uh, Christmas to um, December 2018-19, so it's about three years old. Um, but a lovely position, this one. These guys were in very early, so they're pick of the plots. Um, but it's just really nice to be on this open space. And this is all part of the managed estate. With all these new developments now, you pay a, a small service charge. The owners have actually ever paid once. I think they paid £115. Um, because the development's not quite finished, often the developers don't start, or they don't start charging a management fee until it's properly up and running. But um, we'll get more information on that for you when you come to buy the property. But come and have a look. So this is a three bedroom terraced house. It's been built to the Chillum design. So if anyone knows anything about the Fox Hill development by Lyndon Holmes, that's this one. And this house in question, the nice thing is there's just the three of you in this end of the cul-de-sac. You've all got two parking spaces and there's actually a visitor's bay there, um, which is a bonus because a lot of these new houses, you get one parking space. So parking's quite tight. So come and have a look. So as I say, great outlook overlooking the green. We're right on the edge of the town here. So countryside is literally next door. So if you like to go for a walk or walk the dog, you've got Lunce's Common next door, uh, which has got footpaths leading up to Wivelsfield Church and you can work, work your way all the way around the back of Haywards Heath actually. Um, and you've also got the Fox and Hound pub quite close by, which is good. So come and have a look inside. I'm gonna put my face mask on. So sorry if I sound muffled. Well designed house these actually. They um. They're three bedrooms and they're two bathrooms, but they're just a bit wider than a normal three bedroom house these days. So you've got the better room sizes. So first things first, lovely big entrance hall. You've got a downstairs loo underneath. Oh, just turn those lights on. So downstairs lab there. I'll show you the lounge next, but you've got the great big kitchen. Look at this, fabulous big kitchen in here. Overlooking the, overlooking the green at the front. Plenty of room for a big table and chairs. Little cupboard there, various built-in appliances, really nicely fitted. The house is absolutely spotless. And the owners are actually only moving um, because they've got well, a couple of babies, but also they, um, they're considering uh, relocating options. Here's the living room at the back, so a nice size. In fact, while we're here, I'll quickly take you outside. Um, I don't know if you can see, we've got these fitted blinds on these uh, back windows. Now the back garden, best thing they've ever done, they said, they put AstroTurf down. Anyone who's got a, a, you know, a garden these days in these modern developments, so many people are putting AstroTurf down. It just makes life so much easier. And it's great fun because you don't actually mow your grass anymore. You get the hoover out. But this is quite a big plot as this development goes. Now this back garden, off the back of the house, down to behind the shed, I walk down there now, I've got that at about 53 feet. So it's quite a big garden. And then this section here is only about 11, 11, 12 feet wide, and it's 20 feet wide across the main section. But a decent shed here, and there's a back gate, because there's a pathway going back round the terrace, so all good space. But really nice. And it's all brick. They, um, what, a nice thing I think Linden did, they put these stone window sills in, which are not cheap to do, but actually really, really effective, and a pretty thing to look at. Come back in. As I say, nice living room. It's nice to have this spilling onto the back garden and a proper family sized kitchen. Have a quick glimpse in there. And then upstairs, we've got the three bedrooms. The main bedroom's got an ensuite. Now, if you don't know Hayward Heath, this development is right on the southern edge of town. It's right on the town and county boundary. So we're right on the East Sussex, West Sussex border. The big plus with this is you're very close to several schools. Uh, this one, I would say, is probably the smallest bedroom by today's standards. As you can see, it's actually a double so Yeah, you get a double bed in here quite easily. Um, so schools-wise, you've got uh, you're officially in Warden Park uh, catchment area. That Warden Park is the academy over in Cookfield. However, some children get a school bus here to Chaley School uh, down in South Chaley. That's an excellent school as well. There's only about 750 or 800 kids in there. It's quite good. And primary schools, you've got several in Haywards Heath, plus Wivelsfield Primary, which is close by. And they're actually going to be building a new primary school up Hurstwood Lane, which will be walking distance from this house in the next year. It's going to be started in 2022. 
just an outlook over the back garden around the neighbors but that's the second bedroom i mean another great big bedroom that third bedroom is enormous and then the front room so i'll actually show the bathroom first flip the light on he says where is it it's here somewhere rather embarrassingly there's the family bathroom this house is absolutely spotless meticulously maintained big airing cupboard and then the main bedroom just push that door too because you've got a set of wardrobes behind the door here nice main bedroom overlooking the green i'll show you into the shower in a sec but look at that outlook isn't that nice now the development's pretty much finished they're doing the last few houses are just being completed now so you can actually see what you're getting but the nice thing about this one is this position i think uh whenever you buy a brand new home on these newer developments they're all a bit overdeveloped in some cases but now the landscaping is definitely a big bonus and there's the ensuite so really nicely balanced house i'll take you back outside and i'll just tell you a little bit more about the location but yeah good space and then come back outside these two parking spaces actually are yours so assuming that relates to plot 39 rather than number 49 and that's the visitors bay but like i say the position here is great and like i mentioned you're on the edge of town you've got school buses literally at the end of the drive so that's about 200 yards away you've got the fox and hounds pub which is a good little pub serves good food and it's good value um schools wise you've got lots of options there and the town center is about a mile to our north the railway station is about two miles like I say, whether you want to walk to the station, it's quite a hike, but you've got a bus service. And also you can get on a bus at the hospital that'll take you straight into Brighton. But there you go. That is number 47 Ruffle Rise off of Cape Road on the southern outskirts of Haywards Heath. If you're interested and would like to have a look, please call our Haywards Heath office. Thanks very much.